Hey GPP peeps, pasensya na if ngayon lang ako naka-record. I am having a slight headache, kaya pagod ako sa work. But here I am doing an apology video to y'all group members and to Yanning. I first apologize for the slander that I made against Yanning. I admit that she's talented, yes. Pero dahil dun sa issue niya, the racist thing, dun ako na turn off yung una and then yung pangalawa na turn off ako lalo doon sa we go up but you don't doon sa isang or sa first episode ng survival show and then I found out through her mismo na she was being set up by Mnet to say the we go up but you don't phrase to Eugene so si Yanning yung pinakaunang um, trainee who fell victim doon sa evil editing by Mnet We all know that the C trainees received the most discrimination during their duration of their stay doon sa survival show na iyon. Eh, munti ka na ngang hindi pumasok yung isang trainee ng ano, C group A. Eh. And si Shouting lang yung pumasok among the C trainees. But I got to admit na talented talaga si Yane. It's the truth. I will admit it. My stage presence din. But yun na nga, discrimination happened. And then, may mistreatment na nangyari dahil palagi yung C trainees yung naging victim of Mnet's evil editing. Napauto din ako doon sa We Go Up thing, sa totoo lang. I slowly stopped my dislike to Yanning during the final episode, so medyo late. Pero at least I realized on my part na mali ako doon sa pag-slander doon kay Yanning. And to the person who said na tig-face shame ko si Yanning, I did not say na tig-face shame ko siya, okay? What I did is the manipulation towards my viewers na I hate si Yanning because she's racist. But at least she apologized, okay? She apologized now. And then, ever since yung incident, the first face shaming incident noong 3 weeks ago, I feel like nanumbalik sa akin yung painful memories ko when I was bullied noong first year high school. I can never forget na palagi ako pinagtripan, palagi akong minumura by that same person. Yung nag-iisang bully doon sa high school, yung pinaka numero unong bully. And then I was almost sexually harassed by that person noong second year high school. Party dang hinubad niya yung polo shirt ng kanyang uniform. And then, nilak pa niya yung classroom. I almost got sexual harassed. I was almost sexual harassed by that guy. And buti na lang, I escaped from him. Doon talaga ako na trauma. And from those high school years, I suffered a lot. I really do. And idagdag ko pa na I've been picked on because of my braces, malaking gums ko. I do have braces noong second year high school. And then, nag-retainer ako. Nag-retainer ako noong first, ay hindi. First year college. Yes, first year college ako nag-retainer. So, to the people who made fun of my teeth, Um, these are real teeth, hindi ito postizo. Nagka-braces lang ako, that's it. And nag-retainer din. And then, I've seen posts from my FB friends na kabilang din dun sa FB group na iyon about face shaming me again a few weeks later. And it really hurts me so much kasi hindi ito yung first time na I was cyberbullied online noong 2017 pa that's the first incident that I got that's the first incident of me being cyberbullied that's why the traumatic experience of me being experience of cyberbullying is stopped from me party lang may nagstock sa akin sa profile picture ko and they downloaded it without my consent I saw some posts of some of the GPB members downloaded my 
pictures and posted it without my consent. It really sucks kasi you did not know the trauma I have for the past 10 years. The trauma is still here to this day. Kaya hindi ko makakalimutan yung nangyari sa akin since high school up until now. Kaya natatakot ako mag-search doon sa GPB kasi if I do, baka mamaya makikita ko yung mga post nyo of the memes of the memes that I saw about me and some of my FB friends said that it's not okay for you, some of you for you, it's for fun, but for me it's not. Kasi hindi nyo alam na nang suffer na isang tao Nag-suffer na yung isang tao. And I am suffering with my problems on my own doon sa work. My mental health is so fucked up. Grabe yung anxiety ko. Grabe yung anxiety ko na pumasok sa work. Kasi... Palagi ako pa rin nagtripan ng katrabaho kong lalaki up until now. Even though na sinamihan siya ng tita ko na tumigil na siya sa pagharot sa akin. And the worst of all, may pamilya na siya. May mga anak siya ng dalawang isa na lalaki tapos isang babae. Alam na nga may jowa ako tapos papatulan pa niya ako. So I suffered my own problems. And that's one of the problems that I have until now. Siya yung sole reason kung bakit gusto kong mag-resign from my work. Siya yung sole reason bakit gusto ko siyang, ma- gusto ko siyang umiwas. Kasi, I've been suffering a lot. So, the bullying trauma plus yung nangyayari sa akin sa work combined, my mental health is so fucked up. Doon sa mga fanboys and the spazzers who posted my photos without my consent, it's all fun and games for you up until you realize na you're bullying me. And I'm glad that there are some people who acknowledge my presence na hindi na okay yung ginagawa ninyo. I even spoke to one of the admins yesterday and she finally understand yung reason she finally understand what I am suffering kasi sinabi ko sa kanya na may problema ako sa work because of that pagharot ng lalaking yun yung inexperience akin yung lalaki doon sa high school I said it to her kaya paminsan I feel like I don't want to open my social media accounts because if I do, baka mamaya may magpapop up ng PM from my best friend and from my FB friends who are part of that FB group of the screenshots of the posts about me. Kasi, ina-alerto ako in advance. Ina-alerto ako in advance. Kaya pig private ko yung Twitter ko for a few days, yung TikTok ko, ting private ko din, pero I um unprivate, I don't know if that's a word. Hindi ko na siya ting private yung Twitter account ko. Kapon ko lang siya ting public. Yung TikTok video, ay yung TikTok account ko na lang yung hindi pa. Kaya yun. Sa mga nagpo-posts sa mga nagpo-post doon sa GPB, please take them down. Okay? You don't know the suffering that I have simula noong 2011. I've been suffering bullying from 10 years. Sana ma-realize ninyo na if this happens to you, if you are in my shoes, mangyayari yan din sa inyo. So, sana ma-realize ninyo na mali na din yung ginagawa ninyo sa mga boys and girls sa mga boys and girls dyan na members of the GPB group 
please do realize that your actions have severe um, effect doon sa person na iyon. So, I hope that you should stop posting memes about me because not everything is funny until somebody is experiencing the severe trauma just like I do. So, yun lang po. And hopefully, you will take those posts down. Thank you very much.